wolf is a lagoon 42 catamaran that is 42 feet long. Her mast is 68 foot tall. She is 25 feet wide. She has two Yanmar 50 horsepower engines. They sit underneath the stairs in the back of each hull. The propellers fold when we are under sail to reduce drag so we can go faster. Welcome aboard. This is the helm station and this is the cockpit of Sea Wolf where we plan to spend many many hours in the summer and many people have asked well where does Ginger sleep? This is Ginger's sleeping area right here. She sleeps right on the table and she loves it down there. She feels very safe and that's where she comes every night. So as you can see it's a single level from the time you step on the boat till the time you actually get into the boat itself. There are no steps. And uh, this is the galley. What's really nice is we can pass things directly to the outside from the inside as we cook. This is our saloon where we can eat inside case of inclement weather and in the winter it's been really wonderful. I've even played my cello right here. It's beautiful acoustics. And that is our cabin. We'll start here. So we're going down the steps. You can see it's there's not that many. And this is the inside of our cabin. Complete with office and Marta. <laughs> and this is our bedroom. It's a queen size bed, or as you would say, queen ish size bed. And then we have an air conditioning system that enables us to get either heat or air conditioning in the winter or the summer. We have lots of storage, uh, but also we have a place for books. This is actually a sliding door where the books are. So when we push it shut, we have our privacy. And our cabin is now just completely isolated for the rest of the boat. The nice thing about the owner's version is that normally this is a cabin as you'll see in the other hall. But having a bathroom of this size for us, since this is our home, we don't really have a home on land anymore. It's very, very essential and comfortable. Coming back over here, a washing machine. And that has been a huge time and uh, to some extent money saver for us. So now onto the guest quarters. So we're going to the left port hall. And as you can see, there are similar steps to go down. And there are two cabins. There's a forward cabin and there's an aft cabin. The aft cabin is basically the exact same size bed as ours. It's a queen size bed. It's very comfortable. I know some of you expressed interest in coming and staying with us, spending some time during our trip. So this is where you would be staying. Same thing, you have a dedicated for your room air conditioning and heater that you control completely yourself. And there's also USB plugs, that little round thing over there on the right. There's a full wardrobe closet. We can hang your things and storage here behind the door and storage underneath the bed and more importantly there's a full bathroom that has a separate shower much like ours not quite as big as ours but it's very very comfortable and all the toilets on the boat are electric so when you look you can see that um, you don't have to pump anything you push a button and it takes care of business so now let's go into the forward cabin. Here's the other bed. That's the forward cabin. And uh, this one is a little bit different than ours and the one for the aft guest. And so that you can't walk around the bed totally. There's a little bit of walk around here, but you have to crawl into bed. But it sleeps also two people. It's also a queen size bed. It's also very comfortable. And it has its own dedicated bathroom 
which is a little bit smaller than the other two and has a shower as well, but it's a shower that you use basically with toilet. So you would take out the carpet and you can use it anytime. But the key is that every room has their own dedicated bathroom, which is quite a luxury on a boat. And same thing, it has its own dedicated air, air conditioning and heater that's controlled by the cabin owners. So now the advantage of this room is for parents or younger kids because it has access to a special hidden bedroom in the port area. Oh, who do we have here? Marta, how comfortable is it in there? Very comfortable. So you have your own little windows. You have two of them. I've got my own shelves. Your own shelves. Yeah, shelves way back there. Wow, it is a really long bed. Well, it's wide. I could actually, yeah, it's pretty wide. You would have, it's really a single person bed, right? Yeah. Well, and you have... Kids could sleep in here. Yeah, and then you have a, um, uh, yeah, I can, I could probably sleep in there, no problem. Six feet. And there's a light also over here, right? Mm -hmm. So, like in all the areas. Yeah. All right, this is great. Well, I'll see you in just a second then. Good night. All right, good night. And the key is that the window can be opened by both by the parents and the kids. So now we're gonna walk on the side of the deck going forward. And these are all the hatches. And this is the very forward hatch. And who is in there? Well, look here. This is how I get out of the other bedroom. That's so great. So you mean teenagers basically have their complete autonomy? Yeah, they, they can sneak out at night. <laughs> <laughs> they can sneak out outside, watch the stars, or lay on the trampoline. Right here in front, we put out some black cushions that are comfortable. People just lay here in the front. It's so comfortable while people are on the helm. There's also a spot up here where you can put a big cushion up here and lay around when the boat is stationary and just get some sun. We finish our tour with a helm. This is where we control the ship when navigating. The central feature, aside from the wheel, is our navigation system. It shows us where we are at all times on a map. It shows us where we are going. We also have a radar that helps us see other boats and the coastline at night or in the fog. Our wind sensors show us how strong the wind is and from which direction. From the helm, we control all the lines that handle the sails. We do not have to leave the safety of the helm and cockpit to handle the sails. So that's the brief tour of Sea Wolf. Just let us know when you're ready to come over and check it out in person.